Hi, Ni Hao, I'm Chef Tom. Cooking seafood soup with vegetable, medium low heat. Cook the pans. It seems like a little bit more oil, but actually we need this oil to cook down all the beautiful herbs. I got cilantro, basil, lemongrass, leek, thyme, and now pino. Make sure your fresh herb doesn't contain with water. Make sure it's nice and dry before you add this in. And then here, I have some ginger and garlic mint, black bean paste, hot chili paste, and some uh, XO sauce, which is like a dry shrimp, dry fish paste. And here, we're just gonna give them a slow stir, let them cook down for a few minutes. After four minutes on low heat, I add in some tomato paste. And let them cook down for a few more minutes. Smell amazing. All oh, the wonderful flavor. Cooking sort of about building the flavor. This is the right heat that I want. High heat, dry white wine. Deglaze the pants a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. Once they blend it really nice and evenly together, and we're gonna turn it down to low heat again. Let them cook for another good seven minutes. So low heat, like this. Turn it to high heat. I got seven cup of mixed vegetable. And again, give them a quick toss. I got bell pepper, carrot, zucchini, mushroom, and tomatoes. I 
them cook for a few minutes, maybe three to four minutes like this. Make sure you don't want to burn the vegetables, so you have to constantly tossing. Smells so good. And then I'm just gonna pour in water. Or you can use other vegetable stock or seafood stock, it's okay. I have eight cups of water. I'm gonna deglaze a little more. Now's a good time to clean up the pot. Oh, it's gonna be taste so delicious. Flavor. Actually, this for my uh, four kids tonight. We have early dinner, and now they're hungry again. We just went to the grocery store. Guess which one? <laughs> it's Kroger. So I'm gonna clean it like this. I like to uh, clean as we go while we're cooking, so you don't get too messy afterward. You know. Go. Put it right here nice and so you can see. Alright. So I'm just gonna kind of get them deglaze. Make sure. Deglaze, it's a couple things. You get all the flavor from the bottom of your pot. All the bit. You get it out. And also you will not have anything stick at the bottom. Prevent them burning. Once your food or soup or stew burn, and it will change the flavor. All right, so this is good. I'm gonna uh, control to medium heat. I bring up to a boil. Once they bring up to a boil, I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium. And I'm going to skimp out some of the foam on the top here. Just a little bit, not much. We don't want to get rid of the flavor on the top, you know. I think this is good enough. And then, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, add some just regular granulated sugar. we to balance all the flavor because it's very strong, delicious flavor. And some kochu salt. Some black pepper. Mm. Zap some lemon. And then we're going to give them a try. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So delicious. A little more salt. Oh. Oh, the vegetable and the fresh herb. It's an international flavor. Very unique. Almost like a stew. We're going to cook until the tomato is softened, tender and all the vegetable and the herb the flavor is struck out really good now we're gonna give them a quick taste again right now yes spot on so now i'm gonna turn the heat a little higher to medium high and i got this big giant scallop just place it in depend what kind of seafood that you have you know this scallop is nice and thick. It's gonna take it longer to cook. Put it in first. I'll wait for about, I would say, one to two minutes. And uh, the heat is good. 
if the heat is really low, you did not see the simmer, you can just turn the heat up a little bit, but this is good. Next, we're gonna add in this beautiful white fish, the whole filet in. Give them a pat down, give them a bath. See, I use the right amount of the heat to cook this seafood. If you're boiling too high, sometimes it's hard to control the heat, and you might overcook the seafood. We don't want to do that. So, let them cook for a minute or two. I'm gonna serve the seafood soup with this beautiful bread. I went to my friend's store today, across the street from my restaurant. They have wonderful ingredients. Look at that, beautiful seafood soup, or seafood stew, look at that, yes. Now the soup gonna taste super delicious. Beautiful. We have Western herbs, and if you combine with this black bean paste with ginger and garlic with the EXO paste, they really go well together with a lot of Southeast Asian, uh, Thai, or especially Korean when they make super delicious seafood soup. That's how they make it. Last, we're gonna add in this beautiful shrimp. It's been peeled, devented, and we're just gonna again get to like uh, give them a nice bath. We don't want to disturb too much. So you can add pretty much any kind of seafood or shellfish, like mussel or clam. You know what's good? Blue crab. If you want to have the soup taste even more depth and special delicious with the seafood, use the frozen blue crab. The frozen blue crab will give them a different kind of aroma. You see the fish is almost done and the shrimp will be cooked for like a minute or two so now this is good when you add something in the temperature drop down so we're gonna slowly let them bring up to a simmer and basically it's done we're gonna give them a final taste you see the grape seed oil that we add from the beginning we created this beautiful oil on the top. It's flavor, wonderful flavor. This is for 10 people. Let's give them a try. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Now, I use that lemon, the lemon that I have, squeeze it, squeeze the juice. The lemon is always good with seafood, you know? So we just want the seafood taste extra fresh. It's ready to serve. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye. Look at that.